Okay, as promised, I'm back for my second episode of numeracy as opposed to innumeracy. Today we're going to talk about the year 2024. Happy New Year, by the way. If a number can be divided by two once, it's said to be oddly or singly even. Whereas if it can be divided by four or two twice, it's said to be evenly or doubly even. I think you can see just by looking at the number 2024 that you can probably divide it by two a few times. So let's find out. Because our goal today is to factor the year. I've done episodes in the past about factoring the year, and you can check those videos out if you like. But obviously, it's 2 times something, and that would be 1012. And 1012 can be divided by 2, so that's 2 times 506. That can be divided by 2, which is 253. And then what? Well, you can't divide it by 2 anymore, so let's try 3. Remember the trick for divisibility by 3? If you add the digits, 2 plus 5 plus 3, you get 10. 10 is not divisible by 3, so neither will 253 be divisible by 3. Of course, it can't be divided by 5, because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. What about 7? Well, it turns out it's not divisible by 7. You can check with the calculator. You don't bother to check 9, because if it was divisible by... Th it would have to be divisible by 3 if it's going to be divisible by 9. So then you try 11. You can, of course, use a calculator, and it turns out it is 11 times 23. You can quickly check that because 10 11s would be 230, and one more 11 would be 23. Add them up, sure enough, 253. So the number or the year 2024 can be factored as 2 times 2 times 2 times 11 times 23. Some people say this is triply even. Now let's look at another example. 96. 96, of course, is 32 times 3, so that's 2 to the 5 times 3. So that number could be said to be quintuply even. That's not the most common ex expression, triply or quintuply, but it is used. So there you have it, 2024 in its factored form. 2 times 2 times 2 times 11 times 23. Hope you enjoyed that. Subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.